Hey guys, this is Sona Singh, your teacher for biology. I hope you can recognize me. I am outside and that is why I am with the mask. So if you can see, this is the deer park in Hodgkars. Now obviously I am a biologist, so why am I shooting this video about a park, right? So that's a bit strange. Now, but let's talk about it. This deer park was created in 1295. That's huge, right? It's almost 700 years old. It's spread across 15 acres of land. But I really want to see, I really want you to see the status of this park. Now the chapter R environment teaches you about this, right? Eutrophication. Now as you can see, there's a lot of treatment facilities installed here, but still it's not happening. Now what's the cause of eutrophication? There are absolutely, I think there wouldn't be any fishes here. It's 700 years old, but still there are no fishes here because the dissolved oxygen and the BOD, biological oxygen demand, is too much here. A lot of research has actually been carried here, but now they are planning for restoration, but still, it's, it's nowhere near. But let's hope this park will do fine in some years. But I want you to understand what exactly is eutrophication. You know, when there's a lot of nutrients in a water body, then this can happen and why do you have a lot of nutrients a lot of nitrates or phosphates but why where does nitrates and phosphate come in here right that's the problem so this park receives its uh, water from uh, after waste treated uh, waste treatment is being done in the sanjayvan so a lot of nitrates and phosphates come here and i think you can see those trees right so a lot of trees fall in the water and because of the degradation that happens, a lot of uh, leaves fall and because of the degradation that happens, the uh, bacteria, they want to degrade that and they consume oxygen and hence the park's dissolved oxygen level is very less and there's a lot of turbidity. If you see very closely, there's a lot of turbidity as well. This turbidity uh, will not allow any fishes to get enough oxygen. There's not enough dissolved oxygen in the water itself. Now I want you to notice something very beautiful. Do you see the end of the park? There's, there's a lot of swans there and people feed fruits. Almost daily they do it. But what's wrong in feeding the swans, right? You, you'd ask me, sir, it, it, it's completely fine. The problem is, if you feed swans, you're putting more organic waste here. And if you put more organic waste, there's gonna be more decomposition and all that decomposition is going to do is increase the biological oxygen demand if you increase the biological oxygen demand you know what will happen no more aquatic species right so that's a major pro that's one of the other problems here so there's a lot of eutrophication you can quickly see the greenish color almost everywhere so let's hope that rejuvenation does happen right so this is how biology is all around you so try to find it and also let me know down in the comments about the rejuvenation attempts that government is taking uh, for this and we'll discuss this in our class. Bye-bye, take care, go prep.